Okay, okay, okay. So I've seen this comment and question a million times. We're finally gonna address it. Dr. Chung, what are your recommendations or thoughts with hemorrhoids and exercise? Whether it's weightlifting, biking, running, yoga, what have you, what are your thoughts on it? When is it safe to do it? What is safe to do all those things? And we're gonna get there right now. Hi there, I'm Dr. Albert Chung, your friendly proctologist, and I wanna make sure you get helpful and good info so that you can create your recovery for your bottom end. And I bet you when you looked up this topic on the internet to try and figure out what you can do, what you need to modify for your lifestyle because your hemorrhoids are upsetting you, all of them will say, hey, lay low, don't do any exercise. But no one will say when it's safe to do so, how you know if you're doing something bad. You know, all those things that you really wanna know so that you can implement the plan, right? Because it doesn't help you otherwise if you can't figure out what's good and what's bad you know they all say well if you're gonna do something exertional and that's maybe what caused your hemorrhage in the first place you don't want to make things worse and that for sure is something you want to be aware of now in my opinion exercise is very important and essential okay it doesn't mean that you need to go and start pumping iron really hard like Arnold Schwarzenegger but even walking around is good enough why? Because our intestines depend on our activity to keep moving things along. And if you don't move around, like let's say you're laying in bed all day, or you're sitting at your desk on your computer and you're just chugging and the hours are going by, slipping by your fingers, well, you may notice that you don't even get the urge to go poop. Like you'll sit there for 12 hours and say, gosh, you know, I, th I don't even think I pooped today. And what's happening is in your rectum where the poop is being stored, it's turning into a poop trash compactor. The poop is getting piled on top of each other. It's getting sucked all the water out. So it's getting drier. And then you have this big poop that you need to bring out of your body and inevitably may cause some hemorrhoid or fissure issues. I know we're talking about exercise, but please take care of your bottom end when you're going through that flare. And one great solution is Pranicura. Pranicura has been a great sponsor of this channel for about over a year and a half now. And it's because we had the same mission that we are so aligned. I wanna make sure you have things that can actually help you. Check out the reviews and see what people are saying. But what this is, is a cream for your bottom end for outside use primarily. You can try on the inside a little bit, definitely do a little bit at a time, but this is my personal supply. And I love that cool menthol feeling that this has. The smell is very, very slight, and it doesn't smell like a Vicks Vapor Rub, okay? And this is such a great protectant for the skin that I find in my irritation, especially when I'm walking around, sitting all day in my chair in my office all day long. This is a great supporter when I have my bandings or my hemorrhoid flare-ups. You can only get this Pranicure at their website, pranicure.com, and that's how they control their supply and also the quality of it more importantly. So I wish you the best, give them a shot, and go to printacure.com. So to help you create a plan for what you want to do, I think there's two major factors you wanna pay attention to. Number one is timing. How long has it been since your last flare up or how long has it been since your last procedure done to your hemorrhoids like a banding or surgery, etc. And number two is listening to your bottom end, paying attention to your symptoms and checking. Hey, bottom end. Hey, anus. Are you OK down there? Yeah. All right. OK, let's keep going. Then. Let's do another set, <laughs> etc. So when it comes to timing, we're talking about how long has it been since an incident of trauma to your bottom end? Right, so for example, if you had a flare up, you just had a constipation or a diarrhea episode or whatever, you strained, and you had a little bit of a flare up, some swelling and inflammation, I would wait four to seven days. Now, what if you had a procedure or a surgery, like someone removed a hemorrhoid, someone banded a hemorrhoid? In my opinion, waiting one to two weeks is advisable. If you had a bigger procedure, like re like a hemorrhoidectomy or cutting off of a hemorrhoid, I would definitely wait 10 to 14 days before you start exercising again. Why? Because the insult, the wounds are still very raw. After you get something done, you're gonna bet there's gonna be inflammation there. The body is coming there to rescue you and heal whatever damage has been done. 
And so you're going to get swelling, pain, drainage, and all these things that can irritate your bottom end. So definitely be a little bit patient there. Now, how about the second factor? How am I telling you to listen to your butt? That probably feels so foreign. But in my opinion, my bottom end, at least personally, has a mind of its own, okay? And I'm constantly trying to learn from it. And I'm listening for any signs of distress, any signs of discomfort, like, hey, Albert, you know, you're being a little bit rough with me right now. I'm not quite ready for that. Or I may have finished a little exercise and then the flaring is starting to swell up a little bit. And he said, hey, Albert, you know what? I didn't appreciate that. And so I'm going to flare up and let you know about it <laughs> right now. So you're going to feel a little bit uncomfortable. And those are the things you want to do even during your set take a break from your walking, maybe walk about 100 feet or so and kind of take a stop, take a breath and see, is my bottom end or my hemorrhoids starting to complain a little bit? Now the second component here is listening to your butt. Listen to your bottom end. Hear those cries. Look for those tears coming from your anus that things are not very happy and they are wanting to take things slower or stop things completely. Things like swelling, things like itching or pain, right? Those are the types of things that you may have when things are flaring up or getting more uncomfortable. So if you feel those things while you're doing your activity, first slow down, right? Make sure you kind of keep things steady. You don't want to push things further and make things worse, right? But take a break. Maybe you've got to listen a little bit longer, see if things kind of simmer down. If the symptoms keep persisting, they are not making you feel comfortable. They're getting louder and more upset with you. Definitely stop what you're doing. You've got to modify your current exercise to make it easier or switch to something else. It's just not ready yet. So Dr. Chow, what kind of activities are okay? Are there some that you should not do? And in my opinion, being a quality of life person, I will tell you there is no activity that you cannot do. Double negative. You can do any activity that you feel like you want to do or you didn't in the past. But again, build into things. Don't just go all out and plan a trip and go mountain climbing or play full contact football. Make some, make it easy for your bottom end to adjust and for you to also feel good during your recovery. So I made a list here of different things that I totally am okay with just to portray the fact that I'm okay with whatever you choose make sure you go about it slowly. All right, so many people ask about biking, and I say, yes, go ahead and try it. You may need to put some extra padding on your bottom end or use a softer seat until things get better, right? If you had a small procedure, it doesn't make sense to put that kind of investment in, but if you had a hemorrhoid surgery, yeah, you're probably gonna want a softer seat to sit on or maybe a softer pair of undershorts. But go slowly, definitely don't go those long miles where your first your first ride, maybe just around the block, make sure things are okay. What about running? Absolutely, you can try running, but I'll tell you some people, it may affect you negatively more than others. Some people, it's that rubbing as you're moving your bottom and your butt cheeks, right? The anus is also rubbing against itself and it may not be so friendly. So definitely go slowly. Yoga, absolutely. I think yoga is totally fair game. Again, try those simple poses first and then go into the more complex, more core driving or glute driving exercises. How about calisthenics? I'm a huge fan of calisthenics. In fact, I don't go to gym anymore because I think lifting super heavy weights doesn't make much sense for me or my butthole, okay, my hemorrhoids. I'm super scared of creating a huge flare up. The next thing is weightlifting, okay? Now, if weightlifting is your life, it's your what drives you and makes you happy, do I have to stop? I say absolutely not. But here's how I would grade things or step up to things. First, do exercises that isolate a certain body part, right? Skip the areas that really make you take huge grunts from your core. Skip your glutes for a little bit because that really will irritate your bottom and it really puts pressure on your butthole. So if you want to do arm curls over the, over the bench, if you want to do, um, like hip flexors or hamstring curls. Those are some good things. Can you do sit-ups? Yeah, you can do sit-ups, but definitely maybe you wanna need to modify them because when you really push hard, you feel that. And then 
using your body weight, definitely you can gradually step up to using more weight. Can you squat with hemorrhoids? Yes, you can squat. Many weightlifters have huge hemorrhoids and they're on the squat rack doing hundreds of pounds. But the key is find out what your bottom end is telling you is right for you. Do air squats, body weight squats first when you're first starting out. Make sure you've got that solid foundation. And then when you really are convinced that your bottom end likes it and is cooperating, put the weight back on. So I hope this video answered your questions and it was helpful. You know, comment down below and let people know your strategies for how you get ready, how you know that things are okay or when it's time to start working out again. I think we, as much as we can share with each other in the world, the better this place can be. And so I want to mention our sponsor once again, Pranicure. Definitely go to the website and get your jar ordered as soon as you can because I think this can be very helpful for your pre-workout routine and even after a flare, most definitely while you're recovering and you're toning down the exercise. This is definitely helpful for me, definitely when I'm going to work. That's when I feel most irritated <laughs> with my bottom end. And so go to www.pranicura.com and get your jar today. I hope you do well. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.